Hey guys, we're here with tonight's item shop video. We're starting off the feature with the Mario skin. I think there's been a couple of renditions of this skin. I think for like a sneaker promotion. But this is a nice skin. 800 for two styles is very nice just in itself. I, I don't know if a lot of people like this skin. When it came out, I, I know I talked it. Um, I don't blame him. It actually had some conspiracy because the tattoo that's on his arm appeared in some kind of teaser and they thought that he was behind sign it was like among us. Yeah, it's hard to explain. You guys had just had to beat it really. Other than that, we have the gilded guy. I'm not sure why he uh is holding a hand out. Yeah, see there you go, that's what he's supposed to be doing. But this is a crossover skin. I think it came out a long time ago. Okay, well, it technically tells you right there. But still, it's been a long time for us. The Slush Fighter Cape. And the Stella Pin Smash Pack. Very cool. Might be some kind of cartoony nature. I know it's a crossover from some animator, I think. You know, if I if I know stuff, I'll tell you guys. But if I really don't, I'll tell the truth. I really don't know. But I think it's from an animation type type stuff that came to the game. But it was fun. It had a Fortnite mirror. Uh, not Fortnite mirrors. Uh, Fortnite shorts or short night. That's what it was called. That came with it. So that's pretty cool. We have Lace with her edit style. I'm not sure why it didn't show it the first time. I'm pretty sure. We have the Stitches Backling that sadly does not come with a style. We have the Paradox and the Eternal Backling. A little, little bit of a weird uh, skin set. I know a lot of people don't really like them. We have Vision. The pickaxe with one of the many pickaxes that have eyes on it. This is very cool. The Equilibrium, a cheap glider, but you could see straight through it. So I think it just adds to the texture a little bit more. Looks like the rooftop and like some kind of Chinatown. Other than that, we have the secondary featured section, which has Dominion and the Flame Sigil. Um, not sure, not sure the preference on these skins in the game. But I think it looks pretty cool. You know, he got uh chains and, and bullets. I don't I honestly don't know what to tell you guys. I'm I'm running out of responses other than nice and cool. But honestly all the all the skins in this game are cool or you know they're close to cool. You know it, it hits where people usually like or okay now I'm just not making sense. Anyways we have the burning beast Weird creature yet turned to a glider, so I guess you can't complain there. Burning Blades Pickaxe, otherwise known as the Hot Knife Challenge. This kind of reminds me of it. We have Malice with the Malice Wings. A female demon. We have the Burning Axe. This one's actually really unique. You know, I recommend everybody get it. Burning Glyph. Pretty cool gun wrap. You know, has a little chrome red in there. You got a little bright type of orange, I think, is what you would call it. We have Teeth making a return with the Nosh back bling. Uh, so, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I saw iTalks notification. I subscribed to him. And it just said, why is it here? So, you know, I don't blame him. I don't know why he's here. You know, this is supposed to be a Halloween type thing. I don't know. Maybe they're smoking something up in the studio. And they just, you know, Epic is posting stuff they're not supposed to. But he has the Globber pickaxe. And the Goo Glider. Very unique. A little bit of a meme type, uh skin style i'd say 
This kind of reminds me of the little uh, fences from Haunted Hills. You know, it kind of looks like that's what he's wrapped up in. And the Nashi gun wrap. Got black and white, and you got little pink splotches. Or not even a splotch, really. That's like a giant glob of pink ooze. But for 300 definitely worth it. Why Halloween skin came back, I don't know. It's Ask Epic, not me. We have the Spartan Assassin. Another great 800 skin. You know, we have a lot of camo type skins, but this one's pretty cool. I don't think her stuff is with it all right now. We got another meme-ish type skin. You know, it's not really a meme because you could tell it's somebody in a costume, but... For 800 it's pretty good. It used to be a rare skin, but not anymore. It's been out like a bunch of times. But I recommend it. You know, you don't see many green skins in this game. We have the Icebreaker Pickaxe. Kind of a sweaty one. Save it a W. Oh, if you guys don't know, I couldn't make an update video because I was working. But there's a new style for Joy and um, Aura. So those will be coming in soon. And then Wild Card as well. But his look like a St. Paddy's Day style, so it might be around now. We have the Googly Glider, which is not supposed to look like this. But it's glitched from Season 3 of Chapter 1. So this one's a cool glider. I know there's another rendition of it with the PlayStation colors. But, of course, you have to get it during a PlayStation pack. So that's, that's as good as you're going to get. And we have Pizza Party. I remember when this came out alongside with the Rage Quit emo, which I think was in yesterday's shop, wasn't it, or the day before? That was a great emo. But for 200, of course, get it. Monarch's Quest level up. We have the Shadow Strike pack. I guess I'll show you guys again. We have the Shadow Arch type with the Dark Paradigm. Or Paradigm. Yeah, I guess you could say it like that. Night Gunner with the Night Bag. Mecha Team Shadow with the Shadow Jet Set. So this all depends if you guys really like the Shadow series because these three are obviously a part of that. Only bad part is the Shadow Caliper and the Shadow Combo Cleavers are separate. Which kind of sucks, but... Otherwise, if you're collecting Shadow characters, get them. We have Rogue and Gambit. Rogue or Rouge? I, don't, I feel like I should be saying Rouge. God, I can't wait for these leaf shops so I can stop messing up on those names. We have the X4 stuff. Uncharted, Horizon, Zero Dawn, and Inkville Gang, and the crew. So not a bad shop. I made a lot of uh, errors in my speech. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow.